The second control of the security in development and support processes category is called system change control procedures. Change could happen for many reasons, but to make sure that it is successful and improves the information systems and processes, it has to be controlled through formal change procedures. Change could provide new functionalities, but could introduce new risks as well, and could compromise existing security controls. Change should not be random and should not be performed without prior risk and impact assessments. Changes could happen at many levels, such as systems, applications, procedures, policies, and roles and responsibilities. Changes should go through a life cycle from development, to testing, to operations. Failing to properly test and understand all the dependencies of a change could have catastrophic effects. A rollback plan should be developed in case the change was unsuccessful and didn't serve its purpose. All changes should be authorized, approved, and documented for future reference, including related documents such as authorization forms, change schedules, and version control. An audit trail should be maintained, allowing for a clear examination of all the changes that have happened.